Hello everyone, my name is Katie of Greenland Quilter. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I will be working on some PMP clues and maybe later there might be, I don't know, maybe Donnell or either Teresa might join us. I'm not sure if the uh, invite is open for both of them, so hopefully they will come. Um, so we're going to continue on and what I'm going to, I'll show you what I'll be working on with the PMPs. Please walk, uh, Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it, just uh, to help it grow. Um, yeah, let's just uh, get on with sewing here. I need to um, put up one of my um, other cameras and then we'll be ready to go. So hello, Robin. And hello, um, Melissa. <clears throat> hello, Candice. Hi, Danelle. Hey, Katie, and everyone still working my but fingers crossed I'll be here soon. Yep, I'll be, the link is waiting on you. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Awkward Quilting. I'm just trying to get my other camera up, so give me a minute. I kind of lost track of time there. Time goes by when you're sewing and you look at the clock and you're like, uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> so give me a, couple, a minute to get this other camera running. Um, so while I'm messing with this, getting this camera up, I will start out working with um, Carnival uh, Bomb Pop. That's one of my colorways. And um, I'm working, currently I'm working on Clue 2 because I was behind, but I'm also going to be working on uh, Clue. I'll, I'll, I'll look in just a minute as soon as I get to zoom up for my um, other camera. And yeah, we'll be doing that. And if I manage to get both clues done, or even if I get one all the way done and the other one partially done, after that, I am going to open more mail. So what do y'all think about that? I think that'll be fun, don't you? I think it will be. So, uh, yeah. So let me get this. Uh, what is it doing? I don't know what it's doing. Oh, there we go. Found it. Okay, sorry about that. You should be on here in just a minute with the other camera. Hi, Linda. Hi, Joy. Sorry for the getting this other one up last. Okay, and I'm um, here, yeah. and I'm going to stick this right here in front of the uh, so I'm sure you can see what I'm, uh-oh. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, so, yeah, I got that up. Now you can see it. Hello around to it. Shirley here from Canada. Hello, Katie and everyone. I will, I will be listening while I work. Linda <laughs> says hi, Katie, and everyone. Uh, I'll be right back. Dang phone. Okay, so yeah, um, right now I'm working on my uh carnival bomb pop. Maybe if I put this further away, that helps. Okay, yeah, so I'm working on this colorway, and uh, I'm Probably about 50% through with this clue, too. And then the next one I'm going to work on will be clue three. And then uh, depending on what time it is, if I, if I if it looks like I'm running out of, I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay on, maybe a couple hours probably, uh, like I always do. And then, right, I'll go ahead and switch over to opening, uh, uh, doing an opening of um, two fat quarter shop mail boxes. And, uh, yeah, and I don't know, we'll go from there. So let me get my screen switched around a little bit. So I'm not looking like, um, not looking at y'all at all. Uh, pop out this chat, move that screen and that screen. Where's my zoom screen? Okay, there it is. And now I can see the chat at the same time so yeah okay so 
how's everybody's day been today? Tell me what what kind of day you had today. I'll be glad when I can get another camera where you can actually see me stitching my blocks. Okay, so I basically have been um, getting all the, I like to do what they call um, uh, chain piecing because when I do that, I can get a lot done, and then it's just a matter of getting everything attached. Something's not right. Ah. Here's the missing inmates. <laughs> I thought something was wrong. I was like, wait a minute, I have some missing. And I know I sewed them all. Okay. So let's get these all pressed and put out on my little um, design board. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that's been taken care of. Uh, Andrea, can you see? Didn't I see Andrea in here? Yeah, I thought I did. Where's she at? I oh, know I saw her. Yeah, there she is. Are you getting your um closed caption text? Are you seeing that? Let me know. No, Donnell says it's not on. Well, darn. Should have been on because oh, why always going to be something? Okay, um, yeah, Andrea, tell me if they're on or if they're off because Donnell says she doesn't see them. On or off? Linda says it's on hers. The YouTube captions are on, and that is all I need. Okay, good deal. All right, that means I don't need to turn on Zoom. Weird it's not coming through my phone. Maybe it's because you're on your phone. And Joyce says she sees closed captioning also. Good. That makes me feel better. Because last time I didn't think they were on and I turned the Zoom on and then y'all were getting two sets of those. Which is not good. Yep. Laura says she can see closed captioning too. So maybe it's a fun thing, Donnell. So what are all of y'all working on? What project are you currently working on or are you just sitting and chilling? Tell me what y'all are working on. No one? Does that mean y'all are not doing anything? Laura says, I'm doing the binding on a baby quilt. Andrea says, I'm putting together a twin size quilt sandwich, the hand quilt for my grandson. Don't forget, if you have a picture of what you're working on, share them in the Greenland Quilter um, group so that I can show them 
uh, to everybody on Saturday. Catherine says, I'm working on Lori Holt's Mercantile Sampler Sew Along. That looks like fun, but it also looks a little scary with those circles. Andrea says, I have three little boys quilt and a little girl quilt to hand quilt. That's going to keep you busy. And Donnell says, I'm working on my paycheck. Yep, I understand. So I'm going to talk about Saturday here directly. Tonight was supposed to have been the night that Kim Moose was going to come sew with me. And we were going to work on a Cotton Cuts color challenge block. Uh, ja either January or February block. I don't know which one we're going to do, but one of them. Um, but um, her, she swamped trying to get everything out the door for Tree of Life. So she just couldn't... Um, squeeze me in after she thought you know because we had to set up pretty far in advance but with how much uh she had to do with the tree of life she decided we were just going to move it to saturday so saturday we're going to have kim and siberian wind who is tammy and um possibly Mona, but I'm not sure about Mona because I talked to Mona today or she left me a message earlier today and she said she was in a lot of pain. So it's possible she may not come. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Debbie says, here I am. I made it. Welcome, Debbie. Hi, Melissa. What are you, Debbie, what are you and Melissa working on? And there's supposed to be four of those. So let's put you back. And then we got C A and then A E and then E. Oops, this is E D. And then this one is B E going on the end of this other right here. Okay, got everything done. Did you? Let me see here. Andrea says I cannot get in my sewing room to sew right now, but I have a PVC print frame on a stand that I can do small quilts on in the living room while I watch lives and videos. That's great, Andrea. Donnell says, hi, Debbie and Melissa. Debbie says, I am cleaning up my mess from this morning's live. Uh, Jeanette Phelps, hello. Still waiting for Clue 7 Carnival. We'll try some scrappy blocks from leftover mask making. Hopefully you'll get your Clue 7. You'll get your Clue 7 a lot faster than I'll get my Clue 7. Well, actually, um... My Clue 7 for uh, hot air balloon will be what drag comes dragging in. It'll, I already have the whole kit for my bomb pop, so I can probably go ahead and start sewing on uh, 7 soon. But I wanted to get a little bit caught up before I did that. Debbie, it's not a mess. It's a creative explosion. That's right. Didn't you know that... Uh, Messy places is a sign of a cre uh, uh, a genius mind. I think that's how it goes. That could be large too. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You never know. Sometimes human beings have the funniest thing. Service in the other direction, not like doing it that direction. So we're going to get this one done. It is seven degrees Fahrenheit here today. So 
so it's still pretty doggone cold. So we need A and C along with A. So we're going to sew these on. This around, make sure I got it in the right direction. Hi, Charlotte, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm working on my clue two of my bump pops because I got behind due to you know circumstances in the sewing room, and yeah, and yesterday. My replacement clue for clue three and for clue two of both clue three of bomb pop and clue two of um my hot air balloon came in the mail yesterday because when when my window got broke busted out by the storm the sun the storm sucked out all of my clues that were sitting up on the um sewing table which was clue two and clue three unfortunately. I couldn't find them nowhere in the sewing room. It was like they just disappeared. So I imagine they went out the window. Let's see here. Debbie is made a little what I what you want. Emoji. Donnell, I feel like I'm always working on my paycheck. Debbie says, Andrea, you're so bad. My life feed didn't stop. It just kept going until my daughter fixed it. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's see. Anything. This direction. And then P and D. That's this one. Okay. Andrea, you are a true friend. I'm waiting for batting delivery tomorrow so that I can get the quilt I did the last couple of days finished. Well, I hope you get it soon. I'm just waiting for all my mail that went out of the United States in January to arrive. No mail came today, so that's not a good sign. Okay, now then, we need B and E, that's this one, we need two of these, okay, and then E and D, that's these two, okay, so now we're going to sew A and B and B and E together, right, something's wrong. B and E, B and D, yeah. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to fix that one. This is what happens when you get in a hurry. Okay. 
and answered. Being in Greenland sure must mess with your mail delivery. Charlotte, since the pandemic, yes. I used to get everything within a two-week period. But ever since the pandemic happened, it's been a vortex of stuff. Like when the when the shutdown happened, it's like a big hole happened and all of my stuff got gobbled up in it. Was it too pretty? So we have A and B. And that's not B. Oh no. Yes, I did. A and C and A and B. Oops. Can you see me? Okay, gotta go get dinner for the tribe. I'll be listening but not responding. I'm still here. Okay, Debbie, thank you. Enjoy your dinner with your um tribe. I had to get Jack the Ripper out here to fix something I just did. If I'm not careful, I'm going to be doing fixing two things instead of one. In fact, I think I'm going to have to fix the other thing. Can you guys see what I'm doing okay? Um, I hope you can. Except right now I'm ripping something out. Because I made a goof. All right, let's try doing that again while I don't mess it up. All right. Where's my head leader at? What? Okay, let me re sew this on. Oh, All right, one of the things I noticed that I did wrong up here, I'm going to have to fix it. I put the wrong uh, red and white. On the wrong white, so I need to change that out and fix it, and then I'll continue on with what I'm doing. So, see, you're seeing me fix mistakes right here on the live. I'm not hiding anything. But thankfully, it shouldn't be too hard to take it out. Okay, so we got this one done. 
And now I can put this where it belongs. This is the wrong block to go on that white. I'm going to set this one aside and also get this one off also. And then get the right one to go on here. Very easily to get colors um, mixed up when you're looking at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So tell me what y'all's weather is like today. I saw um, on uh, one of my uh, news feeds that relates to weather that um, they're expecting another polar vortex breakdown and it might send more cold weather toward the United States again. So if that's the case, y'all be prepared. But I'm I've also been keeping up with that atmospheric river that's going on in California. I talked to my daughter yesterday, and she says they've been getting a ton of rain where she's at. But there's no flooding so far, so that's good. So everything's okay her way. But she's not down near L.A. either. She's about six hours, I don't know, five hours? Either four or five hours away from um. Somebody just asked about Storm of the Year. Did you, did you cut all the pieces prior to piecing, or did you cut the pieces for each block before doing them? I cut them before I do the block. So I want to show you guys something since you brought that up. We're going to get off track for just a minute, so hold on. Okay, so I'm going to move things around a little bit here so I can move that camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can't get things moved around a little bit. All right. Okay, so um, Joy asked me about, do I cut all of my blocks before I sew them for Stronger Together? That would be enough. And the reason that is, is because I look at each block and then I formulate, well, I want to go through my boutique because I'm using boutiques for this particular project and I'll pull out a certain amount of colors. So for uh, week two, which is going to be the bell and the, um, the bell, the bow and one other object, uh, an apple. And I go through my boutiques and I look for colors that stand out. So I pick two styles of yellow so I could figure out whether I want it to, um, did I want it to be a pale yellow like this with very little texture in it? Or did I want it to do, did I want it to do it in a bit of a more yellow with more texture? So I'm basically, uh, comparing 
three different yellows to decide what color I want that bell to be in, which is week two, which is this week will be work. I'll be working on it. And I've decided to do this one because I got texture. So there's that one. Now the apple is going to be red. So I'm going to use this specific red because of the design in it. It'll give the apple a little bit of texture also. And I'm going to show you why I'm bringing this up. Because as you know, I've already done um, week four. I had to re I'm redoing week three because I discovered that the, I did the whole blocks in the wrong size. But I want you to check this out. This is all of the fabric colors I have used so far in uh, the Stronger Together. And it's because I just pulled out different colors of petites. Okay. And then I went through them. I had a whole stack of petites. This is a background, so that doesn't count. Um, so I had a whole stack, and then I went through, and I'm like, okay, this one might work. So I set that one aside. And then if I found one I didn't really think worked, I set it to the other pile. And then I just went through my pile until I got to a certain amount that I thought I could work with. And then what I did is I, like for the the outer border, what which was 28 blocks, and when you look at the pattern, it, it had told the colors they used, like they used three of one color, and then they used two of another color, and then three of another color. So what I did is I created three shades of a red. So we got this red, and then there's this red, you can see there's a difference here and back here in the back because I made three I think I made three blocks that are red or four so yeah and then there's this red so three of my blocks have these these three different color reds okay so that made for three of the 28 then I made three shades of green and I'll show those to you so you can see exactly what I did. And because it's petites, you can really, if you if you have a, a little bit of a stash, you're able to just like look at them. See, three different colors. Just like what um, uh, Teresa was showing on how she was using colors with her horse, with the petites. Then I used um, three different, I think I used uh, four colors of blue. So I have this color blue, this color blue, this one, and no, I have five color blue, sorry. But they don't all look blue because when you string them out amongst the blocks, they all look different. So there's that set that I kept out to use. And a lot of these colors will get repeated probably in the star which is week two. Then I used a couple shades of pink. See how there's this color pink and this color pink and there's another one in here somewhere right here. We have this shade. See how that's so different? And that's how I come up with um, what I'm going to use. Now I don't cut out of it and then just stop and not use the colors again. So these colors are being used again in the quilt now, as far as do I add am I adding more the only one I'm adding more to is I'm adding yellow because I haven't used yellow and yellow is for the belt and the rest of it's been all these bright um, colors here that I have been using to, to build my uh, quilt front and I use uh, different hues and shades of purple See, there's this color purple. This is a dark purple. And then there is, hmm, I don't see the other purple. I must have ran out of that one. There's one of them I think I ran out of. Yeah, I did. So these are the only two purples I have left of this stash that I pulled. I have plenty of purple, so no worries there. But, and what I'll do is all, all the leftover smaller pieces like this, I will set up, put them, measure them, and see what size they are. 
And if they need to be trimmed down to a size that can be used again, or I may just leave them and use them for uh, paper piecing, which is like these. You can use these for paper piecing, definitely. And um, yeah, so all these smaller pieces will get reused in something that's paper pieced. So that's how I come up with, and I know that sounds like it's uh, chaotic and not organized, but this is how my this is how my brain thinks. I go by um, how a color feels to me or how it looks to me. And then when I look at the pattern, does it does the color speak to the pattern at the same time that I'm trying to decide what color it is? Uh, and I, and I'll I'll bring this up. Um, my mandala, which is on the wall, um, but I followed the pattern, but I didn't follow the color that she was using because I couldn't. I wanted to, I wanted to do it my way, so I did, and so that's why they ended up being thirty-two colors in this. And there's no, I didn't sit down and draw or take a color pencil and color lines to see where I was going. In what order I was going to put those colors. Every time we got a new row, I took out two or three colors and put them side by side and then looked at what I had last. And that's how I decided which one went where. And it's the same with when I use batiks, especially quilts. Uh, you know, I'll follow a pattern, but I might not necessarily follow, follow any of the color. Sometimes I might kind of follow the color but use my colors based on that person's design of colors so i really don't have a it comes from in here when i do it so i i can't explain how i know yeah those are all boutiques andrea um i can't explain how i know what color to put next to what i don't know it just comes from in here so that's how i do this now on regular cotton you know when you're using prints and solids and stuff I'm a little more what's the word I still try to be creative as I can with it and be outside the box kind of with some of the stuff I put together but I also try to to not make it too crazy because you know some people will think it's crazy or weird you know but it, it's just how I do things I do what I do what my heart says how it feels to me at the time. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, let me backtrack because I know I'm missing stuff. So now, how come I can't see all the chats? I have my settings on all messages. I don't know what that means. Are you on your phone awkward or are you on a, a tablet or a laptop? Um, let's see. Andrea says she just came in on her personal account this time. Usually she comes in. The, oh, okay. Y'all are talking about something else. Yes. Great camera out, uh, angles, uh, Charlotte says. Okay, good. Um, Andrea says, Charlotte, I am Southeast Texas. What part of Texas are you? Okay. Katie, when you start, yep. Now we're getting to where Joy T asked me that question. Um, see here we have a uh, couple of temperatures someone 68 degrees and sunny somewhere baby bunnies are still doing good that's outstanding andrea um uh, i love all those colors those are the cheeks yes they are that's how i choose colors for crocheting and quilting i never follow a powders color choices i like to make my own taste yep there you go so yeah so that's how um that's how i do it now um my daughter uh, my oldest daughter, she's she's um, very artistic. So she's been uh, coloring, using colors from the time she could get a crayon in her hand. And one year, one of her, um, she used, she was in the, I want to say either kindergarten or first grade. And one of her pieces of art, was uh put in the art show and they had it down at the um, Columbia County School Board building up on the wall 
and we went to the um, art exhibition, you know, because they were honoring the young students. And an art teacher, an, well, an art judge, I guess he was, because Lynette ended up getting a scholarship out of it. And um, he walked up to me and he, he, he says, I'm so-and-so. And he says, this is your daughter's piece, right? I said, yes. And he said, um, can you tell me how she how she learned to use the colors the way she did? And did you have any influence in in on how she uses colors when she, when she was younger? And I told the um the man, I said, no, she's been coloring since she could hold a crayon in her hand, and that's how she would do her colors. And as she got where she was more coordinated, I started seeing her. Because she also, at some point, I was buying her color pencils before she was in the second grade, too, because she had the coordination to use color pencils. And she was taking color pencils and crayons. And when she was coloring, she was intermixing them. And when you looked at her her uh, piece of art, you're looking at it and you're like, how did you do that? How did you make those colors do that? And he told me, he says, this, what your daughter has is coming from inside her. It can't be taught. So let her do what she wants. And so she's she paint. She did paintings and um, she liked using pastels a lot. I think she still does. Right now she's raising a baby. Don't have time to paint, but um, she's always been um, painting outside most people's norm of you know box for normal kinds of oil paintings and pastel paintings. So I don't know. I think that might just come from one side of my family. I just don't know which side. Never interrupt a lady with a ripper in her hand. <laughs> That's right. You might get stabbed. So yeah, I need to be working on week one, which is the bell, the, the hair bow, and, and the, what was the other thing? Oh, it was an apple. That's what it was. I'll be doing that this week. Probably tomorrow. I kind of don't want to mess with the apple. I'm a little afraid because I've never made an apple. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what kind of mess I make of it. Did you guys enjoy last night's live with the unboxing after the sewing? Because that's what we're doing today. I'm going to sew for a little while. And then I'm going to do two more unboxings. Y'all are quiet tonight. Okay, so we got that one done. Let's get these cut apart. And then it'll be ready for pressing also.
Andrea says, I enjoyed it. I got a little envious about, well, wishing I could afford fabric. But I'm okay now. Uh, well, that was back from December when everything was on sale. I don't, that, I, I'll tell you a little secret. Ooh, that one's off. Um, when I shop for fabric, I usually do, when I shop, get that much fabric, like what you see, because you're going to see more in a, in a bit. When I get that much fabric, it's usually November and December when I do it. Because Missouri Star, Fat Quarter Shop, and Cotton Cuts are always running something, you know, at the same time. With Cotton Cuts, all of that that you saw, it was because they were doing that minute mysteries thing. They were also doing those puzzles that you could go um, play. The, it was like little game puzzles that they were doing right on the website. And as soon as you filled out the or participated in the game, you would get 15% off, say, yardage or 15% off of Java's, which is, and when you get those kind of percentages off, you save a little bit of money. And I did it so that I could have most of it shipped in one box to save on shipping as well, because they have something called Boost It, which can be put with a subscription that you already have, and it gets shipped, you know, in a box together, all of it. And, uh, you know, but the rest of the the rest of the year, I usually don't buy that much. I mean, um, yeah, I don't, because I save for November and December. So I under I can feel you on what you're saying. But I don't mean to make anybody envious or jealous. So that's not my goal here. It's more about sharing. You know, what you know what. It looks like and you being able to see it on a camera instead of on a website. Yeah, what you have to do, um, Andrea, is save through the year. You know, try not to spend any of it during the year that you might get put back because that's what I did. I had a little bit stashed and I waited till November to use it. Katie, I am going to start with the third block, the books. Yep. That one you're going to, that one, Joy T, is a lot of fun. Totally a lot of fun. I think I got it. You saw how quickly I got it together. For a while there, I was buying from um, Soya and... The first six months of being on their lives and stuff, I kind of went a little crazy. I mean, I just couldn't stop. It was it was scary to be honest. It was like it was an addict. It got addicted, and and then when all the shutdown happened and things were shipping changed, it was it finally was a way for me to take a breath step back and not do that anymore so i yeah i cannot do those kind of shopping because it's it's so easy to squander away three hundred dollars and then have what they call buyer's regret because you spent too much money So I've gotten a lot better about not doing that kind of thing these days. I'm still trying to build a um, fatigue stash because I want to make a quilt using 100 colors. Joyce says, I like, watch, like to watch unboxings. What's left for you to buy at Quilt Con? Laugh out loud. I'm going to be on a mission for a certain colors of fatigues. That I might want to switch my um switch out of some of that legit kit for the polar bear. I'm gonna be looking for specific colors. I want to put some texture in the ISIS behind the bear, or maybe put some texture in the bear. One of the two. I haven't decided. But I won't know until I get my hands on the actual uh uh, color legend and then we'll see when I go into a couple of shops that sells boutiques whether I can even get anywhere close to it you know we'll see I may not spend any money on anything I 
I wouldn't mind getting a, a couple of accessories, more accessories for my Junami though. I don't know. I have no plans on what I will buy. Yeah, Andrea, it will be awesome. And it's probably going to take me a couple years to do it all. I don't have a pattern in mind, but I kind of think, I'm thinking in order to get a hundred colors, I'm either going to have to design it myself or do little small samplers of different blocks, you know, make different blocks all in like six inch blocks and just pull it together to make one big collage. And that does have potential to do that, you know? But that's in the future. I want to do something that, that, that when somebody looks at it, they know who did it. Does that make sense? They'll know that, oh, yeah, that's key stuff because he like bright in your face colors. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hello, just finished chores now for playtime. Yeah, come on in and let's sew. That's what we're doing tonight. And then in a little while, I'm going to do some unboxing. Andrea says, I have I have never had a boutique, but that is one of my goals to get some. Yeah, I really love them because, um, I you know, I hear a lot of people, there's a lot of people who trash boutiques. But boutiques have potential to accomplish things that, other cottons can't. Especially if you're trying to make something really, really vibrant. I love bright colors too. I want to. Ooh, speaking of Bargello, I gotta show you guys something. Somebody showed this. I don't remember who it was. Let me see if I can share the. You know, let's. Well, first, I better go hunt it first. I can show it to you. I think I downloaded a picture of it. Let me make sure. Okay, where did I put it? Nope, not there. Oh, hmm. I'm on the wrong laptop, so I'll have to get it a different way. Hold on a minute, you guys, while I get it. Because I shared it with somebody in Messenger. It's called a dancing lace. What? No, that's not possible. Hmm. There's always one way to kill a bird. That's what do, so I don't get too far away from the chat. Use Google. Please. Ah, here we go. Ah, that. I don't know why I'm getting a 403 forbidden. That's weird. Hmm, I'm going to turn my VPN off. That's the problem. Sometimes people's websites don't like VPNs. VPNs, rather.
looks like they have two variations of it too. You got one with a dark background and one with the light. So I'm going to show you the one with the dark background. Okay, now I'm going to share the screen so you can see. So hang on one minute, please. And then I need to um. Can y'all see that? Wait a minute, I'm moving the chat off the screen or not. Okay, can y'all see that? That is a Bargello, a different style of a Bargello. Now that I probably would be willing to do. Look at it, it's amazing. And you can get it in different sizes. Um, you can get it in a small, a medium and a large size. Isn't that amazing? That would be cool to do. It looks like a rip, two ribbons running through each other. And can you imagine what that would look like in deep color? Ooh, we or uh, um, grunge or um, what's the other one called where the color changes from one end to the other? Yeah, it, it looks like a DNA strand. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty darn amazing. Now, see, I wouldn't mind doing a Bargello like that, but the regular Bargello that most of us see around, is it doesn't do anything for me. That's why I don't want to do one. But that one I would probably do. And it looks like it would be fun. Okay, back to sewing. This is the second time I got sidetracked. Right. Now we have B E E and A. That's going to be no. Well, this is A B C. This A is B and B. B. Okay, here we go. So we got A E B D. Okay, let's set these together. Yeah, Ombre. Yes, Melissa. That's what I was thinking. Ombre would work well with that too. I think. Hi, Lori. How are you? So I've been going about an hour. An hour, can somebody tell me when an hour has gone by? If you stay the whole time. That would be like 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, something like that.
Cindy at the Fabric Patch has a great video on how the cakes are made. She is on Java Island right now. Man, oh, I would love to go to Java Island. Wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever? To go see the cake or go to um Indonesia to see it. It's been about an hour, but I'll it's been an hour, but I'll say, okay. Yeah, because I figured I would in an hour I'll go ahead and do the unboxing. Um, we got these two sewed together. Now we know. We still got something that's not sewed together. Okay, so this is A and B. A and B. E and B. Oh, okay. This way. All right. Hi, Sean. How are you? Did you have a good day today? Are you still working? I showed the um the group that's here watching that Bargello that I showed you yesterday, that you and I were talking about yesterday. And they were, they think it looks cool too. How was your day? Hope you had a good day. I wonder if we'll see any interesting Bargellos at the quilt con. They're not the usual kind we see. Press open. Let's let this one go. I need to figure out where to meet people at QuiltCon. Yep, there's that. I think we need to figure out a way of um, rooting up my computer be there soon. Okay, Donnell. I wish we could, I don't know, we need a community wall. 
someone needs to say, I don't, and I wouldn't even know where we could put a community wall where everybody would go visit and say, I'm going to put Con on this day and this day. So we could get a list of who's going when. I do know um, if you haven't done this already, and I would suggest you do it, you should download the um, QuiltCon app because it's a good way of um, looking for who is going to QuiltCon and you can star them in your in your app. I'm not normally an app kind of girl, but I did download the QuiltCon app just for this because it might help me in the end with things. Okay. Please. Let me see what I've got to do here. This has got to go this way. I'm getting ready to um, put part of this together. And I'll show you um, by putting one on the board where I can show it to you. Okay. All right, we're going to put that one. And then we need one of these. And then we need the P A C that should go here. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like. And then I'll be start I'll start sewing it together. And then these two pieces are a separate entity. So here's what it looks like before I sew it together. Katie, you must have made it big time. A lot of commercials. I told it to slow down on that, Debbie. It's supposed to not be giving anybody one on a, on a live. And no, I haven't made it big time. Maybe I need to see what kind of settings need changing. I'm sorry about the... um. I'm still learning my way around YouTube, so I don't know how to adjust that stuff yet. But I did tell it to on the live to slow down, but if it's not slowed down. Joy, have you had any commercials? Okay, in case you missed it, I'll show it again before I get ready to sew it together. And yes, it looks quick because it's not sewed together yet. Thank you, Charlotte. So let's get this thing sewed together. This is going to be fun because we have lots of angles to make sure they line up right. Rolling ads. Can I do that while I'm still live, um, Sean? Hi, Pat.
You know, I don't think it's going to let me do anything inside of while I'm live. I don't see where to do that at anyway. Not that I can see. Sorry, you guys. I, I'm still learning about YouTube. Is anyone a Tilda fan? Sean, can you walk me through how to fix that for lives? Maybe it's maybe it is a Canadian thing on YouTube. No worries. I just skip unless you do not. Want. No, I want you to be happy, not upset. So if you want to skip it, go ahead. I've learned to let, uh, now when I'm watching someone else's channel though, if I'm just watching so I can give them uh, watch time, I'll let the commercial run because, you know, they do get credit for that. Yes, I'll make a video over the next couple of days as this is popping up on the several channels. Okay, great. I'm not too worried about, you know, once the, you know, people watching the replay, if it happens. So you guys, um, those of you who have been watching my watching my videos, giving me watch hours. The watch hours are slowly scooting up the totem pole. Hey, Pat, how are you doing today? I'm doing good too, Pat. So y'all had what on sale? Yeah, thank you for that, Melissa. It's starting to add up. I'm not at that comfortable spot yet, but I'm slowly creeping up there.
Hey, Katie. Hey, Danielle, you made me jump because <laughs> I was so engrossed in what I was doing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. I I was... just got my one main camera on today because I'm going to be working on clearing off my Katie, my cutting table and everything over here and cutting out some fabric. Okay, whatever works for you is fun by me. Okay. You can really tell I have a shadow. Oh, I know why I have a shadow now. I forgot to turn one of the lights on. Maybe that's the problem. Let's see if that fixes that. There. That's the reason I had the shadow. So what are you working on? I'm working on clue two of my bomb pop, trying to get these uh, clues caught up. Because I got, you know, behind because of, you know, I don't even have to keep repeating why. You know why. Oh, yeah. The horrible neighbor incident. Yep. My replacement clues came yesterday, so I'm very pleased about that. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Very pleased because that means I can um, redo clue three since part of it went missing out the window and the other one completely disappeared out the window. I had a complete cleaning of my area in the front room yesterday. Yeah. Well, me and the husband and our oldest son all trying to did a huge mess of like spring cleaning of the front room, including my extremely overpiled area where I kept all my hand sewing stuff at yep. and all, all that stuff got dumped in here because so I told the guys I'm like okay you find anything in mind that involves sewing or creative stuff just toss it in my room on my workbench and I'll deal with it tomorrow yeah they dumped everything didn't they I <laughs> did not realize how much stuff I had stuck in between a coffee and table and the couch <laughs> I'm like, it's not that big of a space. How did I fit so much stuff there? Very carefully. Yeah, now I'm trying to figure out, okay, what am I doing with all this? Essentially, I'm just moving it from one station to the other station for right this second. Because I'm like, I got, because I'm going to be on uh, Jean Captain Stitch's channel tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be, and we're going to be working on a project. And I'm like, I still got to get the fabric cut up for it. All right, I need to use the iron for this. Have a good day at work. Ah, started off rough because I didn't sleep all that great last night. So this morning is like dragging butt. Ate some sugar, drank some coffee, try to get some energy moving. So now just trying to get it together. But overall, not too bad. I can't really complain. So, ever say what you did for a living to me? I can't remember what you said. Or is this a secret? And I got that one uh, thing all packaged up, ready to go. That jacket that I was working on on your live stream last time. No. Yeah. Got that all packaged up, ready to go, and then she decided she wanted some butterflies to be put on it if I could, if I could, to give it a little extra oomph. So I'm like, yeah, not a problem. So I got that all figured out and everything, and printed out so I can be able to put the butterflies on there. I'm gonna be working on that this week sometime.
Hey Brenda. Hey Melissa. Yes, Melissa, I snuck in. <laughs> Hi, Beverly. Hi, Denise. Hi, Beverly. I yes, Brenda, this is live. Yep, it's live, all right. What time is it over there where you're at? Um, here it is five fifty-five. When it gets six thirty, let me know. Alrighty. Yeah, I got my phone out here so I can keep an eye on the chat while while talking. So. Okay, because when I when I when it gets to six thirty, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and doing some unboxing. Cool, cool. Yeah, I almost put in a chat earlier that no, do the unboxing now. <laughs> no. We're gonna do it after I sew for a bit. But Katie, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is how it's gonna be. But mom, <laughs> you do a little work and then I'll share. That way, if you really want to see, you'll stick around for it. Oh, I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> e someone will either stay or they'll even do a replay and find where it started. Uh, yep. Either way, uh, it's okay. Yep. To me, that I just, just thought it would be fun doing it after the fact because nobody else does it like that. Oh, definitely. And it, you know, let's do a little sewing. Let's chat for a bit, and then I'll share my mail. Yep, yep. That way, you know, those who came in late won't miss out. Not late. No one's late. You, you guys know what I mean. You came in when you could get here. That's what I mean. I didn't mean that the way that might have sounded. <laughs> You're not ever late. You're here when you get here. That just didn't come off my tongue <laughs> the right way. Jordy's telling me a quilt. <laughs> she goes, quilt, Danelle. Oh, hi, Jordy. So last night I quilted and then did the unboxing after the fact. I didn't hear anybody really complain about that either. Actually, no one complained about it. And I'm so proud of myself because I got that whole quilt done. Quilted. That so is now, so awesome. Saturday, it's going to be binding that bad boy. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be on uh Jean's channel on her live stream and we'll uh we're gonna be doing a uh, charity quilts for do donations to kids. Oh awesome. Uh, yup, so Jerry sent me the pattern and I'm working on cutting up the fabric now so that way there I can be ready for the live stream. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm like best part is I can use my scraps because I've had scraps sitting around waiting for a purpose. It's a like super cute, colorful, fun, vibrant colors. So the scraps I had no idea what I was going to do with. Well, now you know what you're going to do with them. Yes, ma'am. So I'm like, none of my other fabrics goes with it other than using like the normal traditional black or white. Now I'm just going to make it a scrappy thing. Nora. I don't know what you're up to, but you better get your boots back in here. She was asleep. So I stood up. <laughs> Sleeping underneath my feet. Oh my gosh. So... My husband had a computer guy come over to help him fix his Dell computer today because they had to bring yeah. him a part. Yeah. He didn't really need help fixing it. He just needed the actual part and it's under warranty. So might as well have the company bring the part out to him. Mm -hmm. And so they came out and in order to do that, we had to put the dogs downstairs with us. 
okay, with me and my son while we were working. And it was so funny because here it is. I'm working from home and I'm on the phones a lot. So I got my pit bull laying on the floor beside of me. And then my Yorkie was in my arms asleep. And let me see if I can't get this to rotate. That's not going to work, but. So here's the picture. Let's see if I can't. Hang on a minute. Let me. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it's not coming in all that clear. Here, try again. See if it's on the spot okay. Box. You have to let the, the laptop pretty closer. But go slow. Essentially, right there is my keyboard, and he's laying across my lap oh, right there. I see that. On my arm, uh, sleeping. Oh, no. That's too funny. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, what a spoiled baby. That's definitely a rotten puppy. Oh, yeah. He's a mama boy. Okay. What did I miss? Melissa, do you have any tilde at all? Candace, for those that live in Georgia, Atlanta, and Augusta, Sewing Center, Marietta, and Duluth stores are having a Bernatex blowout sale at $6 a yard. Wow. That's a good price. Andrea says she was here earlier and usually is here, but I do not think she is now. I think uh, Charlotte says, I think that's tonight, Andrea. And Andrea says, thank you, Charlotte. I have notification on for her, but YouTube does not always send me notifications. Who's going live? Uh, they were talking about Sarah B Siberian Wren going live. Oh, that's right. She does go live tonight, doesn't she? But I Joy, that was she... my Yorkie. Loki. But I don't think she was going live until a little bit later. I think that's what they were trying to figure out is when she was going live, if it was today or Saturday or what. So, What's that, Donnell? Joy asked what you were showing. Candace. Yes. Joy T in store only. Sorry. And Robin says, hello, Katie. Hi, Robin. How are you? I hope you had a good day. Hey, Robin. Now let's go over here and try pressing this now that I did what I did. Okay, so we're going to have some bicycles with daisies and some pink sloths. And some solids and a midst of everything tossed up into these quilts. For no rhyme or reason, just completely scrap. Nora, get your nose out of the dark seat. <laughs> Somebody be naughty. She's, um, I'm thinking she's on a food hunt and it's not time to fear yet. She's getting close. B, A, E, B, E. Okay, where were we supposed to be on this thing? Now let's sew this side together. Katie, did you already open the mail? I no, I have not opened the mail. That's why I'm waiting. Oh, she was saying she was late to the show, so she yeah. was trying to figure out if she missed it or not. Nope, you have not missed it. I decided I would wait to do it, sew a little bit, and then do the unboxing. That way, it gave people a chance to get here who might want to see it and thought they might have already missed it. You haven't missed it. I haven't done it yet. But in about 20 minutes, I will be doing it. So did you see that I posted that I'm having a guest on my channel this weekend? Yeah, you're having, uh, was it Luke? The Quilt and Grandma from, Quil from Quilt Fact on my channel this weekend. 
Yeah, she's the one that goes by so something Debbie, right? Nope, she goes by Inkofax. Oh, okay. Yep, I saw that. Yeah, in your chat, I think she showed up earlier as uh, Debbie Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Gordy says, it's chilly and hungry, Robin. Just put up the heat and put something in the oven, so I'm good. Nora. My mischievous little dog. Come back over here and hang out with me. I think it's, it's getting about time for me to change my rotary cutter blade. How often do you change yours? Huh? How often do you think you change yours? When I start having trouble cutting through fabric. Yeah, but you don't know how much time goes by before that you realize you got to do it. No, I just try and do it whenever the whenever I notice I'm starting to have trouble. Yeah, because sometimes I think I go a long time between blade changes. Yeah, most they say that you should change it every like after every major project. To me, rotary cutter blades cost way too much money for me to be doing that. Yeah, I was about to say, then I would have no blades. Yeah, at that point, I'll be using scissors. Yep. Because this mama is not made of money. And rotary blades are super expensive. I mean, I buy the titanium ones off of Amazon and packs of like six or something like that. But still, I mean, even that is um, more than what I can afford of a place after every quilt. Speaking of blades... I want to show you something. Yes. These are these are sold at um Hobby Lobby. They're Soology blades. And let me tell you what, these blades, out of all the blades I have, including the endurance blades, these outlast all of them. Oh wow. And they are cheaper than all of them put together. But do they come in a 60 millimeter though? This is a what? A 60 millimeter? I have no idea. I don't use a 60 millimeter blade. Because I use a large one. I don't. I use a 45. They probably do. I don't know, but I don't recall seeing one that big, to be honest. Yeah, I but use a way... large one because I just, because that's what was bought for me. Years ago, and that, and so I just stuck with that. And I, and and I think I actually have. Let me see. I think I also have the rotary cutter that I bought from them. I had bought it because it was in California, and when I was looking at the prices between Opa's and whoever else is in there, and then theirs, and then um, they were running a discount on their Soology tools. You know, twenty percent off or fifty percent something. And I bought a um, cutting mat, a self-healing cu cutting mat while I was in there, too, while that price was going on. And I said, hmm, let me try this out. So I bought the rotary cutter and some backup blades. And let me tell you what, I definitely like them. Uh, that's awesome. But I've also bought blades from Amazon that were not, they were Amazon whatever. They weren't. Yeah, I love I bought Amazon. Some, I bought some like what you use on carpets, which means it's got to keep a blade for a while when you're using them on carpets. So, Jordy, that's okay. Completely fine. All you can always catch the replay, hon. And Andrea, what is the kind of uh, blade sharpener that you bought? Yeah, I always wondered if that actually works. Yeah, I've never tried them. I've heard. I've heard stories of both directions on them working, them not working, but I've always been up in the air on it. All right. We got that one on. 
So we got one of these done. See if they lined up. Yep, they line up. This quilt top, I think, is going to be gorgeous. Which one are you working on? The bomb top one. Oh, that's right. You already told me that. Duh. The red, white, and blue <laughs> one. I normally don't see red, white, and blue stuff. Sorry for asking oh, again. I saw the batik, the batik, the batiks that are used in this one. Oh my gosh. They are exceptional. That is awesome. The, the colors are all vivid and bright and, ah, oh, you know, happy. Andrea says she bought hers years ago. She goes, I think it was made by Fiskers, but I have seen one that I want to get that you do not have to take the blade off of the cutter or to sharpen. Ooh, that would be interesting. And Robin says, I heard that electric sharpener sucks. Andrea says, I have heard that as well, Robin. Do you know if there's such thing as uh, a, sh a sewing shop having a scissor, a, a, a tech who sharpens scissors? Say what? Do you know if some sewing shops that fix sewing machines have someone that sharpens scissors? Um, I don't know for sure, but I just seen something the other day where... Um, they had something that you could use to, uh, it was a knife, I mean, a scissor sharpener. I don't yes. what it was now, but I just seen it the other day. If it's a tool, no, I, my husband will have to do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, okay. If you get what I mean by that. I, I gotcha. I got what you were throwing. <laughs> well, that's why I don't sharpen knives. I can't deal with the um I don't know what that what you call this thing when you can't sharpen knives because of what it does the friction it makes. It's like we, it's like when somebody rubs a fingernail across a chalkboard. Or just something the grind I don't know. Yeah, for me I get the same issue whenever driving across whenever you know those like those bumpy areas in the road that does like yeah. that grinding sound. Yeah, for me that's like nails on a chalkboard. All right, look you guys. Here's the first one. Ooh, pretty. I wonder if I, I think I got it pointed the wrong direction. Hang on, it is pointed the wrong direction. Ah, it's supposed to be like this. Sorry. Still pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that one. So that one's done. I'm gonna put it over here and then we're gonna start on is it six thirty yet? It is six fourteen. Okay, we got fifteen well sixteen more minutes to go. Pat, you still there? Hello, uh, Sylvia. I'm sorry I didn't see you come in. Welcome, welcome. All right. Now we're going to get this one on here. And we're going to put this one on top of this. Yeah, Jordy says her quilt shop sharpens uh, blades. So I was wondering, I have, it's not big scissors, I need sharpened. 
and y'all are going to laugh when I show you what I want sharpened. I want these sharpened. See, those are some really nice scissors, so I would want them sharpened too. They are, they, they, I've had these, um, I want to say five or six years now, and they're just getting where they don't want to cut thread all the time, so I know they need sharpening. But I love them because they're the right size. The weight of them is just right for me. The holes are big enough for my big fingers. Are you bringing and them I'm, with you when you come to the I, stage? Yeah, I'm going to put them in my suitcase, but I, and I'm hoping I can find someone that can sharpen them because it looks like they're made out of some kind of steel. Yeah, I think they're made of like titanium or something like that. Um, What yeah. I would do is, who is it that you're staying? Well, I would contact the person that you're staying with, see if they could reach out to their local quilt shops. To mm -hmm. see if their local quilt shops could uh could sharpen them for you. Okay. Because I really love these. I have some other ones that are small like this one, but none of them have. You see how my fingers fit right in the holes? Yep. The rest, the other small little snippers don't do that. They're, I end up getting my thumbs hung up, you know, way at the tip or something, and I cannot cut like that. That is probably cheaper I don't have, at Amazon, so. Joy, think, think third world country when it comes to what you're asking me about. That's right, Robin. Okay, so I've, I've heard this on numerous occasions and everything. Robin says that if you, use, if you take aluminum foil and you cut the aluminum foil with the scissors, it's supposed to resharpen the blades. Do you just do one sheet or do you fold it multiple sheets and then cut through it? Katie Little. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we should just go ahead and do the box opening because Pat said she's had very little sleep. All right. Listen up, you guys. You have one chance of answering this. How many of you want me to go ahead and do the unboxing right now? Me, 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 me. Hearts in the channel or in the chat. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on, you guys. <laughs> Joy T says, never mind. I forgot you live in Greenland. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get a damn knife sharpened here. So go figure. So I'm bringing two knives with me that I'm going to have sharpened. Poor One Katie. sheet. Cut till sharp. One me? Yeah, I would pay $5 to have them sharpen too. That's right. Yes, please. Me. There's a heart. Come on, you guys. I need everybody seeing. Yes or no? Me, 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 Pepper, me, me. Pepper, 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 please. Okay, me, me, me. All right. Y'all win. I'll put my sewing aside. Aw, <laughs> uh, you do love us. Of course I do. I wouldn't be on here if I didn't. I know that. There would be no point in being here if I didn't love y'all. Well, let me pop. Let me mute this. Be right back, Katie. Okay. I just gotta mute it, so. It's all right. No problem. You're not gonna get me. In. It doesn't bother me. Life gets into everything, and we have to adapt to that. Okay. Okay. So, I'm back. Here's one box. Mm -hmm. uh, here's number two box. So these are from Fat Quarter Shop. And I got stuff on sale. And I also have my trusty little invoice here so I can tell you what they are. I'm going to move everything off the desk. So I'm not going to be typing. And I'm going to move the camera over here so you can get hopefully a good look. Seeing how the phone camera is pretty good about showing you stuff. So and I got my phone in front of me, so I can try and let you know the live chat. Yep. This box got mailed out on. Wait for it. December twenty ninth. I oh got my goodness. it. I got it a week ago. The other box was mailed out on. December 29th. Also, and I just got both of these at the same time a week ago. That's what I'm talking about, how slow 
the snail is moving these days. Okay, so you're going to see Christmassy stuff because they were on sale. And I usually don't buy Christmas stuff, but as you saw last night, um, I bought quite a bit of fabric from uh, Cotton Cuts. Okay, so I need to shut up and get on with this. All right. The hey, first Mona. Hi, Mona. I, ho I hope you're feeling better. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you it's called Single Jingle Tops Tin Hoffman Fabrics. It is two and a half inch strip kit or set. Um, and I am not opening this because, um, you know, I will have a big hot mess if I open them. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, so, my um, God. I'll, I'll, I don't know if I can go. I don't know if I can find that. I wonder if I can find this online to show the colorway. Hmm. I don't know. When I get done uh, with, with all the openings, and if you stick around, I'll go look real quick and see if we can find the, um, what do you call it, the color legend? Yeah, so this is essentially. Called a Hoff yeah, so this is called a Hoffman Jingle Pop. Okay. Then I got a uh, layer cake called Christmas Night 10 inch squares Monique Jacobs for Maywood Studio. And well, I'll, oops, sorry. Now, this one I'll open up and kind of finger through it. If I can figure out how to do it without making it a mess. Yes. Jordy says that they can see the colors on that jelly roll pack. So she said, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, they're nice colors. I just don't know what all the prints look like. So I what I'm what I got these for is I like to make uh, Christmas ornaments during the winter months, and um, I didn't participate this last year, but the year before I did. But I want to make some things so I can sell at the Christmas bazaar. And what better way is to make um, three dimensional stars and these Scandinavian. Um, Gosh, I don't know some kind of Scandinavian heart, and they're two dimensional, and you put candy in them, and they have a little handle, and you hang them on the tree. Oh, but that's I, awesome! But I learned how to make it from fabric. How can I make this so I can show it to you? Right. Hey, M is saying good evening, everyone. Hello. All right, let me try it this way, and I'm good. Oh, that is pretty. Y'all see this okay? Yes. Or do you want me do you want me to make the screen big where you can see it? You could. That way they're trying. I can make the screen big. Hang on a minute. Let me do that. Black, black. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love white and silver. This white and silver I can use for, um, I designed a um, Ulu pattern, paper piece uh -huh. of paper. Uh, Ulu is a woman's knife, and I want to make Christmassy Ulus. And then sell them at the Christmas bazaar because that's something different. That is awesome. There's a different kind. Not an easy way to funky this, I don't think. Very pretty. And we're getting to green. Uh oh. Let's not knock that off. <laughs> Look at that green. Yes. That's pretty. And then there's a, uh, looks like a type of design with this one. Yeah, almost looks like a patchwork. Yep. Then there's this dark green. Pretty, pretty. And then there's some with some red on it, if I can get a hold of it. Yep. This is like an olive green. And then we're getting to red. 
Not try a pencil eraser. Okay. I actually have a pencil with an eraser up here. Oh, good. I'm glad you've seen that before I did. <laughs> oh, that works much better. This is another with that strange pattern. And then we got this right here. Oh, look at here. This one has uh, Christmas trees on it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that one. I like that one. And there's just a regular red. Thank you, Pat, for pointing that out. This does work. Oops. Got this style right here. <gasps> Look at this dark one. That's Ooh, I like that. Yeah, me too. And look at here. That's pretty too. Hey, y'all. That is super nice. And more Christmas trees with uh, snowflakes and stuff. And then we got uh, snowflakes in a, a type of a design. <gasps> I like this one, too. Uh-huh. I love a black must, background. And this must be just like a solid black. Oh, this is a very back panel. Oh, it must have had a design you couldn't see on it. Wow. Wait a minute. Huh. It's a design you can't really see. The, the camera's not picking it up. Well, let me go back one. Yeah, so you can't even see yeah, it. Yeah, that just counts off as like a solid black. Oh, there it goes. Just slightly, you can see the like little swirls. Oh, yep, there yep. we go. Now Perfect. you can see it. Okay, now you can see it. Good, good. All right, so that's what was in this um, layer cake. And I'm going to slide it into the bag, back into the bag, because I don't want it to get fray start fraying. Or get dust all over it. Or certain dogs' hair all over it. Since I'm in the living room and not the sewing room. Okay, so that was the um, layer cake. And then I bought um, a marine blue flower small foldable box. When I ordered this, I thought it was itty bitty. Check this out. This thing's huge. And oh my this, goodness. This is considered a small, but this was on sale. I got it for, I don't know, I don't know what the regular price of it is, but I got it for like half of what they normally sell it for. But it's a little portable. Oh, awesome. And when you're not using it, you can fold it back down again. But I got this on sale, and this is the first time I've actually bought one of these. And I was really expecting it to be pretty small, not this big. Look, I mean, you see that next to my sewing machine? Uh, yeah. It's like as big as, as, as taller than my sewing machine. And they consider yep. this to be a small. I think you could actually fit your sewing machine in it, probably. <laughs> probably <laughs> so this this is the first box of stuff that i uh bought okay now i'll put uh, my stuff in there put this aside all right let me get the other box all right okay let me see if i can find um invoice okay um i've been in this box having a little bit of a look so um yeah the first thing i will show you is where is it an adjustable thread stand superior threads um so i bought I got one of these spool of threads from Fat Quarter Shop when they had them on sale. They were on sale for $30. Um, 
it back in November, I think it was. And my little insert that goes on my sewing machine is too small for this. And I can't. Uh, and, Kathy and Kine the spindle, says cold tote. Thank you. Um, now, someone did suggest putting in the coffee cup, but by, by the time someone suggested about a coffee cup, I had ordered, already ordered a stand. So I'm going to test run this superior adjustable thread stand. It fits all sizes of cones, steady weighted base. It feels heavy, adjustable height to 15 inches. And I'm gonna test run it with this cone because um, this last year I went through four of these large size Aurifil thread last year of, and I think time to get something bigger. Debbie says she has to go. We'll watch the rest on replay. Okay, so anyway, that's what that looks like. I'll take it and put it together later. I'm not going to do it today. All right, the next thing I got is I'm going to test run a, what's this called now? It's a filter select, and I bought a 6 inch by 12 inch, and I'm only buying one of these because I want to see if it's all it's cracked up to be because I have a huge investment in creative grid rulers, and when I mean in investment I have a lot of them and uh different sizes I have three sets of uh, rulers that are three different lengths that I use constantly the biggest complaint I have about rulers is glare when the glare hits the ruler it hits my glasses and I have a really hard time with seeing things at times because of the glare now everybody's preaching about how the bottom doesn't you know, it, the fabric doesn't move under it. I really wasn't after that as much as I wanted to see if the fact that this, since it's, since it's, um, opaque. No, I'm not going to keep it in the plastic. Go ahead and take it out. I want to see when I'm cutting with it, if I get that same glare that I'm getting with my, um, creative grids. Now, before anybody says, well, you could try Missouri Star, the green ones. The Missouri Star green ones are worse. That's why I went to Creative Grids. I had bought two green, two of the Missouri Star long rulers, but they're not as long as the ones I have with the Creative Grids now. But, um, And when I got them, I didn't know there was going to be a glare. And when I was cutting with them, I was having such a glare. And it was just, I couldn't even see where the, the measurements are on the ruler. So I'm going to test this. It's being tested to see about whether there's glare on here or not. And I see you will see it shiny on that side, right? So how much you want to bet there's going to be a glare? Can y'all see that? Yeah, a little bit. So we'll try it to see. And I'll give you some feedback later about it. So um, if there's anyone else besides myself that experiences... Um, glare on your glasses let me know because I definitely do and I love my creative grid rulers I'm not against my creative grid I just I want something that's not got glare on it constantly especially when I'm cutting and it's worse when you're trying to cut dark fabric to me than it is lighter co colored stuff yeah okay Katie unfortunately I gotta take off because the guys have already calling, came in here and told me that dinner's done okay thank you for coming you're welcome. Sorry I can stay later. Oh, it's all right. It's all good. All right. So I, now I'll yeah. talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. See you later. Joyce says I have must have had a dozen ads that kicked me out of the channel. Is it because I am on YouTube and not in Zoom? No, Joy, I don't know. Um, Sean's gonna help me figure out what's going on and we will see what I can do, okay? Remember, I'm new to YouTube so and Zoom, so I'm still learning. So, you know, and I just got monetized not more than three weeks ago. So I probably need to make settings that I'm not aware of. And uh, hopefully um, me and Sean can figure out what the problem is. So bear with me, okay? I don't know why you're getting kicked out of the channel, though. You shouldn't be. I mean... I, don't, I watch ads all the time and I never get kicked out. I just click skip and go on.
Okay. The next two things I got was Love of Quilting Magazine, November, December, 2023. And I bought a McCall's Quilting Magazine, January and February, 2024. So this one is... This one's the November, December one. Oh, I, I need to darn it. Anyway, yeah, let me turn this up a little bit. Okay. So I, I, I'm going to show you some stuff in here so you can see what the, what's in it. So you have this pattern. Let's do it like that. How about that? Okay. And then I'm, I'm just going to keep turning and show you some of the patterns. It's in this magazine. Stockings. I'm not sure why you have to restart every time, Joy. It must be you're on your phone, right? Maybe it's something with the phone app. Do you use YouTube as your app or uh, or YouTube app or are you using a browser? I watch if I I don't watch uh oh speaking of Scandinavian stuff, here's a Scandinavian star. All right, Pat, see you next go around. There's this pattern. Is everybody getting upset about the ads and leaving? That was this magazine. And then I'm going to show you some in this one as well. This one is. Are y'all using the YouTube app or are you using a browser on your phone? There's this pattern. And this one. Are y'all going to quit my channel because you're getting ads on your phone? Because I don't know what to do about it. Oh, here's a up close one here, right here. Look. That one's pretty cool. I think it's, I think it's such service from YouTube, YouTube on my iPhone. Yeah, I don't watch um, videos, I mean, lives or anything on my phone at all. I only use my laptop and my TV for that. So I get ads and I just click skip. Yeah, Sean, Sean said he's going to help me figure out what the problem is. Y'all got to just hang in there and let me try to figure out what's going on. I'm so new to this. This is how to make a book cover. For a book.
No, I, I don't know. I just don't want people to leave because of ads. That's all. Pixelated heart, you guys. Look. Oh, here's the... The link that my body's sharing is for the um, uh, Greenland Quilter Facebook group. And that's all in that magazine. So this was for January, February 2024. This one from uh, McCall Quilting. So it has really neat patterns in it. And I like getting these magazines because it helps me think of some, you know, gives me ideas of things I could do. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is. Hang on a second. This one got somehow. Okay, this one is. Um, let me see here. This one is called Joyful Gatherings Jolly Bar by Primitive Gathering. Let me put this back down here. YouTube do doesn't want ad blockers. The ads aren't that long. I just wonder if it puts your live on a delay, time delay, or am I missing content? I don't know. Whenever I watch other people's lives and a, a ad comes up while they're live, I just click skip and go. So if I've missed something, I'm not aware of it, but that's possible that I've missed something. Okay, how am I going to show this to you guys? Look, this is the pattern for it. All right, let me see here. Which way does this go? I'm going to open this one so I can show it to you. Because I can, it has a plastic, yeah. So I can put it back in there. Okay. Now, let me see if I can slide this off. Nope. So I don't want me to do that either. Okay, so I'm just going to um, do my best to try to keep these together. What do I do with that pencil? Maybe if you do it like this. This is by Primitive Gatherings. Some of these I think I could use in red, white, and blue stuff if I wanted to. See that okay? Yeah, but won't you rub off the markings from the ruler? Definitely don't want to mark, rub off markings. Then it'll really be hard to see. 
Look at that. That's pretty. Here's another one that's pretty. You're welcome. I like sharing stuff like that because maybe you don't buy magazines. I love Every time I go to the United States, I come back with at least 10 magazines because I don't have access to anything in English over here except on the Internet. And I don't tend to read books or uh, magazines or anything else on my laptop or, yeah, I just can't. I need to see it on paper. That's why I like books so much. My eyes get tired of looking at digital sometimes. And you, you don't have to lug around a laptop or a tablet if you've got a, a magazine with a pattern in it. Or you do what I do and just print it out on paper. Which I do do that too. So I don't have to lug my laptop into where I'm sewing. Is thirteen ninety five a month for YouTube Premium? Really? What do you get for it besides no ads? I'm curious. What else do you get? I can tell you my channel is doing okay it's it's not boomy but i'm only seven wait we just turned eight months old on the channel so we're now eight months old so i'm eight months old in and you know i'm i'm doing okay i am still really wanting to see my watch hours continue to move up so that it gets to a spot where I feel more comfortable. Right now, I'm still not comfortable currently with where it is. And part of it is because I need to make more content. Um, I'm finally getting comfortable with my lives. So now the next thing is deciding on what kind of pre-recorded or, or recorded videos I want to make for you guys that I think you might sit and watch. Y'all are saturated with so much already. I don't know what you guys would find. Um, I don't know. I need to find something that will catch, you know, that you might like, but I don't know what that is yet. But I, you, all of y'all have given me great feedback on the lives. I'm super happy with how well the lives are going. I'm getting better at it. I'm still making mistakes. But those mistakes are how I learn, um, like how to fix ads. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'll get there on how to keep the ads to a minimum during a live. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is fabric. Yep, I saved it for last. Okay, I will tell you, try to tell you which ones I got. So I bought... Only one of them did I buy a yard and a half. The rest of them are half yard pieces. So I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is called Coastal Mornings. Is that really? A, I guess it is. Uh, when I saw this, I, I'm like, this looks almost like Jason Minter fabric, but it's not, you guys. <laughs> the funny thing is, let me put the camera back down here again because I'm going to hold it up. It's, it's petites, but it looks like Jason Minter stuff. So this one is called I believe this one's Coastal Mornings Petite Purple Haze Deco Floral. Check it out.
This is a boutique. And I bought these in half yard pieces. Andrew says, did you see my comment earlier about helping you with your watch hours while you're on vacation? Yeah, no, I didn't, but would y'all please, please, please? <laughs> no, I didn't see it, Andrea. I'll go back and reread everything y'all said. Okay, the next one. But yes, if you'll give me watch hours, I would appreciate it. And I will try my best to do different things to get you content while I'm gone, too. Katie, with all the fabrics and new quilts you're making, you can sell your quilts online or do a live auction like Tiffany does. This is true. Some of these quilts are going to my family, though. I don't, I only have, believe it or not, I have two finished quilts in, in this house. Two. Everything else is either in quilt top form or in sandwich form or, yeah, that. All right, the next one is, Coral Bliss Boutique's Red Violet Dotted Circles. That doesn't look like a dotted circle. What is this one? Maybe this one's the Wine Nights Boutique New Great Moroccan Yardage. Okay, that sounds more like it. I did not give you the idea. Um, yeah, email me. Tell me what you're talking about. You you are about to have free. Free? Okay. Yep. Let me know. All right. The next one is the one that's the Coral Bliss Petite's Red Violet Dotted Yardage. Now, this one is a happy yard also. And the last one, which is the yard and a half, is Bumble Bailey Skates Boutique's Yellow Ditsy Dots Yardage. Look at this. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm about to have three finished quilts. That's right. I have I have one in California that needs to be bound. And if I can get somebody to mail it to me while I'm in the United States, I can bring it home and bind it, and then it'll be done. And it's my Stratford, so I'm going to try to do some heavy begging and see if I can get my daughter to drop it in the mail and send it to my friend Christine in Atlanta so I can take it home with me. Okay, so this was everything that I bought from Fat Quarter Shop. Those two boxes. That's what I had. So what do you guys think about all that? Did you like what I showed you? Any feedback on the fabric? Or I mean on the, the mail on boxes, I mean. What did y'all think about all of that? Pam says pretty. Do you have a quilt shop in Greenland? No. Not here where I'm at. There's a small one in Newt, but they don't hardly sell anything that you could make quilts out of. It's all clothing and stuff you would make house stuff out of. Andrew says, I am making a sunflower quilt for my oldest granddaughter, and that yellow would be awesome in it. Yeah, that came from Fat Quarter Shop, believe it or not. Nice fabrics, Robin said. Do y'all want to stay for some more sewing, or have you had enough? I've been on, I think, two hours. Let me look and see. I'm not sure how long I've been on.
been on two hours now. Do you want to keep on going or you want to stop? <sighs> Andrea says, I have a coupon from Fat Quarter Shop. I might have to use it for some of that yellow. Yeah, let me tell you what it is so you'll know what. I'll type it in the channel, okay? So you know what it is. Okay, let me put it in Okay, that's the name of it. Rain, city rain of the fabric patch toward how to how they make boutiques about two days ago. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, when I was in um elementary school, I don't remember which grade it was, but um we had I would go to an art class and one time we she the teacher did showed us how to make boutiques. And she basically had dye wax and white cotton fabric and we all got to participate in making our first boutique and it was the coolest thing ever and that's probably why i like boutiques because even the smell of it reminds me of the smell it had when we were doing it in uh, the art class i'll have to watch that donna thanks for sharing Oh, a boutique, that will be my first. Yeah, if you buy some, it will be. And it's beautiful. I saw it and I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to use. This, this is going to be great for when I'm using a certain kind of yellow orange. It's really pretty. Very pretty. Can't go wrong. Not on that. Y'all have any questions you want to ask? Um, Thursday night, I will be going, I will be doing a sew with uh, Kelly of Kelly Cruises. Kelly, Kelly's Quilts and Cruises. That's who's going to be my guest. And we will be getting to know each other because this will be the first time we, we're going to be doing something together as a collaboration. So I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to that. So make sure you, you um, come to watch that and um yeah i'm trying to get all of this uh content made live content made so you guys will have something to watch but as i mentioned um last weekend i'm definitely going to try to get some videos made while i'm in copenhagen and if i manage to get to where the center of copenhagen is i might just go live and show you where the king and queen live would you like that I'm not big into monar mon I'm not a big person about monarchy stuff, but I know some of y'all are, and you would probably be thrilled just to see it. I think the castle's pretty cool looking. I would love to visit their botanical gardens. I just watched a show regarding how they make the teaks in India once. It's, yeah, it's very interesting how they do it. 
I have 13 different sunflower prints, and I could use that as a background. Yes, you could. But this this one, this one amazed me because it does. It looks, let me, I'll go show you what I mean. You'll see what I'm talking about. Look. This is Jason Yenner fabric. This is digital. This is the teak. Tell me they don't look the same. The teak. Digital print. No comments? Hmm. Okay. Yep. When I, that's why I, I thought, I thought when I bought it, I'm like, since when does Jason Yenter make the cheeks, but it's not by Jason Yenter. Because all of Jason Yenter looks like this are similar in the style and, and the colors. And, you know, and I have two, I have actually, I've got two, my, um, my Stratford and the team Amy one that I'm almost finished with on my PMQ. Both of those are from, uh, Jason Yenter fabric. And it's really pretty and beautiful. And I'm going to use this as a backing up for the Team Amy one. So that's why I have so much of it. Because it's going to be a backing. Hi, Teresa Louise. How was your day? But I just, I, that's why I bought this. Because I'm like, wow, this looks like Jason Yenter stuff. But it's petite. I love it. Hey, Teresa, you want to see the boutiques? Sorry, my power keeps going on and off. Is it because of all the rain? Just message me. Well, maybe not. Sounded like it. Okay, so what did y'all think about my mail? Well, I already asked that question. Okay. Uh, so we can keep on sewing or you know, we can stop. What do y'all, what, what would you like to see happen? Because I'm game either way. I just didn't want to keep on going if no one was going to stay. This is a boutique, Teresa. And Drew says she's going to go. She needs to fix dinner before Siberian wins live. Okay, yeah, she's going live too. Yep. So maybe I should stop. But let me show Teresa these boutiques before I leave. See you over on Siberian, uh, Andrea.
her name is Tammy. I'm getting better about remembering people's names. I'm fixing to show you another one, Teresa. I'm just holding it. That way I can go ahead and put it away. With all of my other beautiful boutiques. There's this one. Come on, camera, show it to her. Huh, now you can see it. Sorry, didn't mean to blind everybody, but this is the purple one. Now that I've blinded everybody. And then there's this yellow. Teresa? And I think, oh, and then there was this one. Okay, so now that I have shown you both of these boxes of stuff, and I've done some sewing, you got to watch me sew, so you get a little bit of, of, of a little bit of everything. So I think I am going to stop now. Yeah, I knew you'd like that purple. <laughs> we all love purple. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to call it because I know Siberian is coming on live, and I know that uh, we should give her some of that attention too so thank you for coming um so much and thank you for your support along with coming to sit and sew and chat remember to live laugh love dream and most of all you guys create and then i'll see you on the next video bye